Hello Leo, this is Lex. I'm here to do your reading because fire signs have the most views on the last what do you need to know. So thank you so much. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content. And if you would like to reach me, there's a link in the description to my website. So I have already pre-shuffled and drawn the cards. I will go through in the order they came out and then rearrange and clarify as necessary. Okay, first we have the moon. The Magician, Six of Swords, The Hanging Man, The Star, and the Five of Cups. All right. Crowning your overall energy of the reading is you're ready. Leo, get off your butt and just do it. Quit crying. Quit leaning towards the past. Stop worrying about the past. Stop worrying about what if this, that, and the other. Yes, happened in the past. And I hate to talk to y'all like that, but somebody need to talk to y'all like that because you're not used to being talked to like that. You need to get off your butt. You need to quit crying about what has happened because you have the tools and the resources and the whatnot and the know-how to move forward where you need to go. Yeah, you don't know everything. The unknown can be scary. But when you actually make that voyage and make that trip it's going to be everything that you hoped and wished for because you are ready okay i don't even need to clarify that whatever this relates to whether it's love romance uh the same thing uh career making a move like a physical move get off your butt and do it and quit prolonging the inevitable stop it move go forward all right now I don't even got to pull no clarifiers. That 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 was very clear. That came through like a phew. All right. Got my heart break and started beating faster and messing with y'all. All right. So we're going to pull a couple of romance oracles because I hope you're doing better in your love life than whatever this is up here. Lord, I hope it's not your love life. Yeah, it looks like it is. Lord have mercy. That's okay. All right. First, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Don't be afraid. I know you're prideful and you think you can do everything by yourself. But guess what? People, God puts people in your lives that can help you and assist you and vice versa you to do the same for them and then i have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment if <laughs> this up here was the what you've been prolonging if you've been dating for five plus years and everything is what you need it to be and you are scared you need to go ahead and put a ring on it or go ahead and accept that ring. Your last marriage may have failed. Your last relationship may have failed. You might got a couple of baby mamas and baby daddies, but guess what? This person is not that person. This is not that. And you have to recognize that truth so that you don't lose something good. Now, I will pull a couple of clarifiers on this one. I have the sun with the two of pentacles. You, you're too big. You're thinking too dang much. You're thinking too much and you need to start doing your fire element. You need to go ahead and make that offer. You need to go ahead and make the gesture, make the move, make this happen. Now, this may not mean necessarily um, an engagement. You could have just been seeing somebody, knowing somebody, dating somebody, and you need to go ahead and make things official. Uh, some of you will be getting engaged soon or married. OK, so congratulations if that is you and also those who are taking your relationships to the next level, Leos. All right. Before we close, I'm going to pull an overall advice oracle to tie all of this in for you. Try to keep these readings as short as possible because we don't all have the most um have the longest attention spans okay so whoa okay that that ain't gonna do it mm, let me see hmm. all right i 
I'm going to take them both. I'm going to read these backwards. One is a number three. The other is a 17, which reduces to an eight, which is a number of dreams and aspirations. And I believe Aries got that same um, number eight as well from whatever um, their oracle was. But your card is focus. And I'm going to do this one first and you'll see why in a second. So your card is focus. My child, when you draw this symbol, it is a wonderful sign that with focus, you will achieve what you want. If I give you an arrow and a bow to use, how will you shoot and hit your mark? This is a reminder that you must go let go of all distractions and have the courage to give it your all. Your arrow will be drawn to whatever you focus on. So keep your eye on the target. However, remember that you can't control every outcome. Just as the wind can influence the path of your arrow, there are many factors determining the course of your plans to achieve anything. You must focus and take aim and let go. Now, I did that one first because the second card that I pulled was the high priestess of Earth, which is the number three of growth and abundance. But Earth does not move. Earth is present. Earth is standing. So if you're worried about things happening and the unknown being a factor, you do not need to in this situation. You need to be present in the right now and not worried about the past or the future or what could go wrong. OK, that is what the combination of these two advice cards mean. OK, high priestess of earth. She is solid. She is footed. She is grounded. She does not change. All right. She's strong and stands up for herself. All right. So. Leo, that is your message. I hope this resonates with you. I hope it motivates you to get off your butt and make that change and make the moves that you need to make. Okay, if you would like to reach me directly, there's going to be a link in the description to my website, victoryforhope.com. Take care.